So that was the stage one mods, and on to stage two. The Gajia Classic, at least the older ones, this is 2010, comes with this auto, semi-auto milk throffer steam wand. And basically, this piece of plastic draws in air or something, I'm not really sure, and throffs milk when you put it in, which is great. You know, if you just want some frothy milk, you want to make a hot chocolate, whatever. But if you want to do fancy barista, you know, coffees, where you want to get the milk up to the right temperature and then froth right at the end, whatever it is, and really control that, and not just end up with a big frothy mess, but change it for flat white, for cappuccino, latte, whatever, then you need a slightly better steam wand. And there's a really easy replacement. It's the Rancilio Silver steam wand, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and it's just a, it's pretty much, it's almost a straight swap. So this is from a different espresso machine, it's like 15 quid. And don't bother buying the ones that they say they've pre-converted them for you. Just get the standard one. What it is, is a different bolt. So I'll show you that really quickly, but I'm not going to go into too much detail. That bolt there on that one will actually be on this one when you first get it. And this bolt will be on the machine. So what you do is you get a, ooh, let me check, 12 millimeter spanner. You put it up in the machine here, and the bolt will be sitting here. Obviously it's not on mine, it's, it's there right now. But you basically undo that bolt, and remember when you're looking down, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Imagine your head's under it and you're looking up, and then think that. So you don't try and over tighten it, and then twist the copper rod inside there and damage anything. Yeah, so basically, you unscrew it, then once the bolt's off, give it a wiggle and a tap, and it will pop out. It might be worth noting, if you don't have a gasket kit, there is probably a gasket already in here. Don't use something sharp to get it out. If you don't have a new gasket, just leave it in there. But if you do have a new gasket, you might want to fish it out. Then, when you've done that, you want to get your two steam ones, and you want to swap the bolts over, which basically means popping everything off. So that pops off, this unscrews at the top here, there we go, so that unscrews, then this pops off, a few other plastic bits, there's one, there's another one in there, a piece of rubber, you basically push it and it'll slide the rubber off, then your bolt, which will be that one, will come off this, now it won't come off this easily, it's, uh, they're quite tight bends, so you have to sort of clamp it and twist and, and whack it a bit, but it will come off, and if you don't care about the steam wand, you could just bend it straight and then it'll come straight off, um, I did bend this one a little bit, still usable, but just made that less larger than 90 degrees so that the, the nut came off. Then on this one, again, you remove the, the steam end, which is threaded. So the one I've got here was, took a eight mil spanner. There we go. And she's off. So then once that's off, you put a bit of fairy liquid on here, washing up liquid, a bit of water, douse it with water and washing up liquid. This will then slide right off. This mine's okay, actually, it can slide off. Once that slides off, you can take this out, just slide it right off, and then slide the Gagia screw back on, put the rest back on, do it back up, and then it pretty much goes straight into the machine. So the last part of this mod is, you want one of these gaskets. So I just got, I got this from Mr. Shades Coffee. They do a couple of good things. Uh, I think the, the gasket kit from them at least for the UK is uh, good value um, and I got in the kit I got the 8.5 millimeter uh, silicone port filter gasket you want to take this one of the small black uh, o-rings here for the steam wand and that will then just go over the edge here I'm not reckoning the metal like I did on this one first time around I just put it in and tighten it up I'm not going to show you that because it's boring So I'm sure you know this, but in case you don't, you can pull this tray out, obviously. Get rid of that. And this is what I didn't know for a while, it took me a little while. I was trying to get the water tank out here. I couldn't figure it out and then I realized, you pull this down, you gotta be really careful because there's a, a thin metal slit which goes through here and it will cut your finger. I actually cut my finger just there the other week on it. You wanna carefully, if you slide your hand down, it'll give you like a paper cut. You carefully pop that out, then you can get the tray out. Uh, just quickly run it, just 
get some of the water out. Maybe I shouldn't do that, I don't know. So, uh, we would have looked at this in the cleaning process, but in case you skip past that, you want a screwdriver, and you want to get the right size crosshead, because if you get one that's too big or too small, you'll strip this little screw here and you won't be able to get the shower head out. We can remove the shower screen. Sometimes they're a bit stiff, but this one's off. Now mine is super clean. If you haven't ever cleaned this before, this will just be full of coffee. Absolutely full. The easy way to see if you need to clean this is if you, when it's in, if you turn the machine on, if it comes down like rain, kind of like slow dripping rain everywhere, then it's fine. If it's coming out like an actual shower head, like spurting out fast and coming out at angles, it probably means it's filled with coffee. We're going to swap the shower head. And we're also going to shop the shower head holder. So on this, it's a 5mm Allen key. Mine come off really easily. But I've heard these can be quite tough to get off. So if you undo these, you're not undoing anything vital to the machine. Like this really is still just like exterior mods that are really easy and low risk. Yeah, this is just basically a block. It's just a block of metal. Oh, it's a bit gunky in there, isn't it? But again, I've cleaned this, so it's not too bad. And that is the base of the boiler. Make sure you do this when the machine's been off for a while because this will be really hot. So the other thing we're going to do in this is we're going to remove this gasket which seals the porter filter on. When you click the porter filter in and you turn it, the porter filter gets pushed up on a ramp here and seals to this piece of rubber here. It's kind of really feels quite hard and I know that it's too low because when I lock my porter filter in it moves over to the side here so I've got this nice silicone one few ways to get these out, you can put a screwdriver in, there's loads of videos online on YouTube for this, but you can put a screwdriver in, turn it, pull it, or you can, um, sorry, put a screw in, turn it and pull it, or you can use a pick, or if you don't want to destructively do it, you can use like a flat head and try and pry it out. Hey, mine came out super easy. Cool. This actually looks, no, yeah, there's a big indent in it, probably is time to swap it, maybe, maybe not. And then in there, I'll probably give that a good clean. So we've got here new things and old things. These are straight out of the machine. It's the shower screen. The shower screen holder, which is basically a heat, uh, just a heat retention block. It's just some mass to keep some thermal energy in. And then our porter filter gasket, which sits on top of here. So when you squish it in, it squishes up to that. Gives you a nice seal. So what we have from the gasket kit 8.5 millimeters, and I'll measure them now. So this is the gasket that was already in there. It's actually looking pretty good, 7.5. Um, it's not exactly going over the wear line though, so there's a wear line in the middle, so it'll be smaller at that point, and then we'll measure the... That's pretty good, uh, 8.7. Which one I got this bottomless one, I guess this is a little smaller, these tabs, because it did go further in with less resistance than the original one. We then have a stainless steel shower screen holder. This one is aluminium, this one is stainless steel. The stainless steel is much more dense, um, which I think means it can hold a higher thermal energy. I'm not actually 100% sure. It's stainless steel though. This thing is knackered, but it's aluminium. I think putting stainless steel in means that we might get some galvanic corrosion between the boiler, which is aluminium, and this, so this might be really hard to pull off when we get it off eventually. Which I reckon is why they used aluminium. It's also cheaper to use aluminium, right? This is this looks like this is cast. Whereas this has been turned from a piece of billet. So it's slightly expensive, it's not really necessary. I think it might upgrade things, and this is just I wanted a new one anyway, because this is it's a bit gross. And then lastly, and this is probably the important mod, is the new shower screen. So IMS shower screen. Just again, just highly controlled holes, um, different pattern. This one's just knackered and a few of them are blocked. And a few little things like that. And then this one from Mr. Shades comes with an Allen head bolt instead of the cross head. Although I'm not convinced by it because it doesn't seem to sit in very well. You know, there's a big, there's a big gap, there's a big kind of step, step there. Whereas the original screw is definitely flatter. So I don't know if I'm convinced by that. Anyway, we're just going to be putting these things in. So I thought I'd show you quickly, just before I put the filters in, I'm giving this a bit of a clean. 
So I'm using this Pule detergent, cafe detergent. I don't think it's descaler. Um, so you mix it in with a litre of water, mix it in, and then you can, shows on the front, I think you can clean, you clean the porta filter generally with it. Um, but yeah, I think it's gonna be good to get some of the oils. I'm just using a uh, toothbrush to, I'm not super sure which way around this gasket goes actually. Um, I changed my mind and I'm putting the chamfered side on the actual gasket surface because when I go to put the shower screen holder in it just slightly uh, sits on it and I think that chamfer will maybe just release it. any silicone that gets pinched there from the flat side so I think the chamfer helps there it's just a shame there's raised texts on the surface which is meant to seal something to nine bar which is I don't know, maybe I've got this wrong. I'm supposed to use the other side, I don't know. I'm literally, I'm literally just nipping these up. Nothing really tight. It just doesn't need to be. So this is a blanking plate. I think they come stock with the Gagia. Um I'm not sure if they still do. Um, if they don't, really cheap to buy. Um, and they're quite useful. They're useful for cleaning. And they're useful for this mod. So what they do is they go in the port filter in place of the basket. So it just clicks right in and it just simply blocks off uh, the water flow coming out of the group head. So we've got a gasket in there and um, using the blanking plate, I'm going to see how well it seals. See if it can hold up to uh, what the machine is putting out. Turn it on and just run it, see if it leaks. Should have got up to pressure by now. It doesn't seem to be leaking. There is still a, a step, but the step is small. Maybe that makes it harder to clean, but anyway, IMS shower screen, stainless steel shower screen holder and new gasket. And that finishes off the stage two mod. The overpressure valve mod pops out.